Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Keed. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I actually have a little bit of a different video here. Today I'm gonna attempt my uh, first ever story time video. I'm switching things up a little bit, so uh, just please let me know what you guys think about this video below. Give me some feedback on it. Uh, I hope it's somewhat enjoyable for you guys. I've never actually done one of these ever in my life. But anyways, I'm gonna be telling a story about uh, this crazy lady at work who uh, basically like stalked me, kind of. I, I don't know, it's pretty weird, but... Uh, yeah guys real quick I did just want to mention I do have a discord server while I'll be hosting a few giveaways starting this Friday So please be sure to go join it for some free stuff Also, I do have an Instagram and Twitter link down below in the description So please go check those out and yeah guys without further ado. Let's get into this weird story Gary, I'm Okay, so this all took place in my work. If you guys didn't know, I work at some small little gas station in a tiny town in, in the middle of New Jersey. Uh, no, no, this isn't any ordinary gas station. It's it's like a weird, weird gas station. It's like created for vegan hippies who, for some reason, like to spend $10 on like, I don't know, non-GMO sandwiches or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's a really weird place. We get some really odd people coming in there. And I don't know, everything about the place is just unusual. Uh, that that includes the location, the place itself, the people, and, and like all the stuff we sell. Just a very, very weird place. So anyway, uh, basically how a shift works for me, uh, there's one person in the kitchen, one person on the register. Each person works about a uh, eight hour shift, pretty much the same shift usually. And, and you're basically on your own for those eight hours. So I'm a cashier, so I'm at the register all day. And basically the registers are right next to the entrance uh, to the gas station. And then on the opposite side of the store is the kitchen. Then you have all the food and drinks and all that uh, to the left of the registers in the kitchen and then on the right you have the dining area so like when you're ringing at the register you're facing the dining area and then in the dining area we have like the tables and stuff all set up uh, on the left side of it and then on the right there's like some couches and stuff and if you're sitting in a couch I really can't see you from the register because you're hidden behind a little glass wall or whatever so yeah just keep that in mind okay now that you guys get the layout here's kind of what went down so it's around like 6 p.m. and uh, we we close the store around 11 p.m. every night. Some lady walks in. She looks like a completely normal customer. Like, I wouldn't think anything of her. I I'd just be like, okay, she's gonna come in, buy something, leave. She buys, like, an espresso shot from Starbucks, a tiny, tiny, tiny little drink. And then she goes and uh, sits down in the dining area. And now at first, I thought that was a little weird. Because you're really gonna go sit and drink a tiny little espresso shot drink in the dining area? Like, that was the only thing she bought. And she went over there to sit, to, to drink it or whatever. So I was like, yeah, okay. Okay, whatever. I didn't really think much else about it. Then I carried on with my day and rang a bunch of people. A couple hours passed. It's like 8 o'clock. Uh, now 8 o'clock is the time that we began like closing procedures, which is like sweeping, mopping, vacuuming, and flipping chairs in the dining area so people don't go and sit down there uh, after the kitchen closes. The kitchen closes at like 9. So it's an hour before the kitchen closes and I, I'm just doing all my clothes and stuff, right? So I go over to the dining area to uh, flip the chairs and uh, this lady is still sitting there. She was like hidden behind the little uh, glass pane or whatever. Uh, so I, I wasn't able to see her whenever I was ringing. I, I, I figured that she left by now. But at, at this point, I am really confused. Like this lady's been chilling here for two hours, just sipping on a teeny tiny little drink. Like it's literally such a small drink. And there she was two hours later, still sitting there sipping on this tiny little drink. I eventually came to the conclusion that, hey, she, she's probably just waiting there for someone to pick her up. Um, uh, I, I still don't know how she was still drinking that, that espresso shot by that time. But once again, it was like, whatever. So I was like, whatever. Then I go and finish uh, my closing stuff that I got to do. And by the time I'm done with that, it's around like 9.45, almost 10. And don't forget, we close at like 11. So it's almost closing time, you know? Uh, at 10, we have to start uh, the more closing down part of the job. Like we start closing down the register, counting down our money and like counting products and stuff that we sell. And by that time, uh, within the last hour, there's usually only one or two people who ever come in, if any. So, like, it's pretty unusual to see people around that time. So, I'm just going through my usual routine, uh, about to finish up the day at work. So, I was looking down, counting my money at my register. Then, when I was finally done counting the cash, I, I glanced up. And lo and behold, it was the same lady from, like, 6 p.m. that night. Man, oh, man, at this point, I was so confused. Like, why is 
is this chick still chilling in this funky weird gas station at 10 p.m at night after making eye contact with her she uh began to talk to me she asks me a few questions she asked me how life was for me she asked if i was happy and like all of these very weird odd questions that you don't just ask a random person that you don't know then she asked me if i believed in prayers and i was like oh boy it's some of this religious stuff where they're gonna like force me to join a cult or something uh but i don't know man it, it, it was just weird i i just had some weird vibes from it and then she asked if she was allowed to pray for me she asked for my permission uh she also did mention that her prayers have cured cancer and gotten rid of tumors and like basically saved lives i don't know like this lady was telling me she was god basically so i i let the lady pray for me man like it, if this is God, I, I don't know. Give me some fortune or something. Like, I, I just took my chances. I don't know what she prayed for, but I mean, I guess she prayed something for me. I don't know. But anyway, here's the weirdest part about this whole thing. After she's done praying and stuff, she walks out the door and then she proceeds to enter a vehicle that was parked in the parking lot and then she drives off. Let me tell you what, I was so baffled. Like, this lady really sat there and spectated me or whatever for like five hours. Hours, and then she prayed for me then she just dipped her, she, her car was there the whole time She wasn't waiting for anyone to pick her up or anything like that. She just left she, her She could have just driven off a long time ago. She was literally sitting there just to spectate me I don't know. It was just such a weird experience. But yeah, that's about all I got for this story That's kind of where it ends Uh, I finish up my night go home go to sleep and then I go to college in the morning But yeah, it's a very weird and unusual experience I, I actually have a lot more of these stories to tell about my work. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys Guys want more of these if you guys somehow enjoyed this I, I don't know it's very different from the usual content i do but just comment down below what you guys thought about it give me some critiques uh of stuff i can do better about it and yeah guys thanks so much for sticking with me all the way to here i really do appreciate it a lot you guys are the real g's for that don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up subscribe to the channel ring that bell and yeah guys i'll see you all tomorrow for another video peace out